Alright then. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody to the stream. Let's just get things right on here. <laughs> it's been a while. I've been a, I've been on Edge of Africa hiatus, uh, as I was calling it in my head. I haven't called it <laughs> that anywhere else yet, but yeah. I've just been kind of not streaming and stuff like that while I was trying to finish the Edge of Africa before recording the big tour of the park um, with the zoo designer. Sadly, that kind of, uh, due to some miscommunication, that didn't happen last Monday as was planned. But that's completely fine. That's neither of our faults, really. <laughs> well, 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 we meet again, Mr. Goron. We meet again, Mr. Droove. Um, so yeah, that kind of is going to happen at a later date, uh, which is yet to be discussed, actually. I wanted to send him a message about that today, but I forgot. I'll do that. Actually, I should probably do that right now. Uh, let's not do that like that, though. Let's quickly, <laughs> let me just, I should have done this earlier, but I completely forgot. Because I had a bit of a, uh, a busy morning. Uh, let me just quickly Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Just set that. And good enough. All right. I have a question. Does the forest edge have forest buffaloes? Yes, it does. Uh, over this habitat has Sitatunga and forest buffaloes. So... Yes. Um, all right. So anyway, <laughs> now that's out of the way, a little thingy. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been a bit of a edge of effort hiatus. I was really trying to get this all done before that tour, which I mean, because the tour is going to be recorded later, did work out because I finished it on Monday. At yeah, Monday evening. Yeah, still super happy with it. Uh, in general, there's a couple of things I want to change. There's especially there's one inaccuracy, which I d actually forgot to point out in the video. But this island needs to be a little bit more over here. We'll be able to add them soon. That's good to hear. That is great to hear. Um, yeah, speaking of the, that habitat, that's actually one of the things on the to-do list right now. So there's, there's a couple of things left to do before the zoo. I'm going to consider it finished for the time being. And there's it has a varying priorities. Um, I'd say priority number one is the parking lot. I really want that to be kind of finished before we get to the rest. Uh, before we move on to like season two, of, as I've been calling it. Uh, but there's a couple of other things as well. There is the interior of the safari restaurant which I want to give an interior but nothing too fancy because we are going to have to change it anyway when we get to uh, season two uh, also got to think of a way to deal with this stuff because that's kind of a bit of a problem maybe <laughs> this is the old murals before we uh, were using font pieces um, then there is the small dock near the entrance. That's also something kind of this corner over here. Also par partially the parking lot, like the entrance to the car safari is over here as well. 
Um, the dock does need to kind of just be built up properly. This area just kind of need to be presentable because it's also something that's going to change uh, as we are going to move into season two. And then we've got the ranger camp, which is definitely something that should be getting finished up a little bit. Doesn't need to be too detailed once again. Like I was thinking of uh, making custom tents, but I think I can just keep these tents, honestly. The only thing we really need to make is this little building. And there's a very big banner over here that's like big as Ranger Camp banner. I uh, want to add that. Then, yeah, the other parking lot near Congo Square needs to be built. It shouldn't take too long. The bus stop that we started in like one of the most recent streams. Do want to finish that up a little bit. I took some extra reference pictures of this building over here. So that's good. Uh, I basically confirmed to myself that yes, this entire wall is also windows. And that's uh, that's about that. Uh, then the see the thing I have with that, I just showed, and the Bird of Prey backstage, which I'm hoping to get uh, some reference of soon. And if I can't, then there's a couple of YouTube videos that I can use. So yeah, uh, that is pretty much the plan for the coming weeks to finish all of that stuff, uh, after which Season 1 will be fully done. Um, while we're building that, I am going to already be working on like the kind of cinematic video sort of thing. Um, because I want to have that out pretty soon. Because there's a, a person who wants to make a little news report thingy for their website about this project. And uh, he said that it would be nice if I had one of those trailer like videos that he could put in the article so I'm gonna be working on that uh, but yeah for now <coughs> before we get started there's one more thing I want to do uh, because of course we do have something to celebrate uh, I, I, I initially already had this plan to do this when uh, when I finished like finished the zoo by having all the animals in <laughs> but now we have something extra to celebrate which is the 750 subscribers so yeah if you haven't seen the video yet that i posted this morning we reached 750 subscribers on the youtube channel and uh, i opened the discord server so if you're interested you can join the discord server and looks like someone just added me uh, oh that's the uh, the forest buffalo it actually looks really good yeah, nice. Let me just put that on stream for a moment. Look, it's a forest buffalo by thing. Oh, I just realized that I don't have my thingy on. So earlier you couldn't see this list. So here's all the things. The to-do list, basically. All right, let's get the forest buffalo back out. So yeah, I have a Discord server now, which you can join. Um, I'll actually go ahead and put a link in the chat that's not a link that's a link to the stream but you're already there let me get a link to the damn it <laughs> i'm clicking all the wrong buttons copy here we go so yeah if you're here and you haven't seen the discord server yet there it is for now though let's celebrate i've got some uh <laughs> not champagne it's 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 it's, it's kids champagne it's basically just carbonated apple juice, <laughs> but it's pretty good. We have tons of this stuff and we need to get rid of it, so better drink it. <laughs> one, one time during Christmas, we thought it'd be funny to buy a ton of this stuff. And then, oh, that always makes a mess. I forgot, <laughs> I'm covered in it now. Well, she had Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the towel over here. And napkin. Ah. You'll get it coated. Nice! That's great. Alright, so this stuff does... Uh, like, it's super carbonated. So, it tends to make me a little bit... Uh, burpy, which is not great for the stream, but... 
gotta celebrate. <laughs> I personally never really like it when uh, like burping and stuff. Is it still good? Because it's been in our closet for like two years now, or a year and a half, so. It still tastes good. <laughs> Okay, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's get started. So yeah. Um, what do we want to get started on? I think we're going to go to the Sitatunga habitat. That's what I feel like doing. And we'll kind of work on the Congo area as well. We're going to be live for about uh, two and a half hours. Two and a half, three hours. After that, I'm going to be going to the zoo. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I'm gonna be going. Actually, I'm gonna turn down the volume because it's very loud. Um, I am going to the zoo in, in like the late afternoon. We're gonna have uh, dinner there, me and my mom, and we're gonna stay like until closing time, which this week is the last week that the zoo is still open until nine p.m. So yeah, we're gonna, uh, and basically that's like dusk at this point. So we're gonna see the zoo in the dark, basically, which is gonna be really cool. Uh, so yeah, let's see. We've got the toilet building. I don't think I added all the images I wanted to add to this album yet. I think half of it is still in the Congo parking album. Which is fine. Um, because yeah, you just go yeah over here. This is what I kind of want to see as well. You've got the backside of this little stable that we made, and we can see that there's like a little box there. So let's add that. Let's just get a heart shape. Hi. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to close my window. You're gonna leave in a second anyway. Yeah, but like... To the barber. To the barber. Hey, hello Lovro and Peter and... Oh wait, Drew was already here. <laughs> Peter is here. <laughs> hey, Peter. Uh, yeah, I am gonna close my window for the noise. Because there's shopping carts and stuff. Which suck. I completely forgot to do that. So let's. There we go. Yeah, hello everyone. And welcome to the stream. We are back at the Sitatunga habitat. It's been a while since we were here. And uh, I think this is the first time working on it since I gathered all of that new reference. So. It'll be fun to make use of that. Oh, I can really notice the <laughs> the apple juice. Uh, let's get a bracket. You really like the Edge of Africa episode? Thank you. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. It was uh, it was really nice. Right. Put you here. Uh, I have to go about 30 minutes, but it's been a while since that you joined the live stream. I mean, it's been a while since I did a live stream, so that is not your fault at all. Do I have a better picture of this? I, I feel like I recorded stuff here as well. Did I? I have to check. This is recorded on the 30th of June. Let's see if I have some footage of the 30th of June. Um, let's see. I have to go here. June 30th, yes I do. Okay, let's see if I recorded anything in the back there. Uh, we've got the hippos being cool. 
Hmm. Not sure I did. Is this it? Nope. Let's also mute that. Snap those monkeys, sea otters, all that. Cool. Very cool. Alright, so this is the edge of Africa. Then we're in the Congo. This might be. Oh, yeah, look here. We've got a view of the Sitatunga area. Nothing really new there. And then it's just monkeys again. I guess I didn't really record anything. It's mostly pictures, which is good. Uh, how do the African penguins not escape in the edge of Africa? So they are very well locked in. Like you've got the rock wall here. And there's a fence out here. Then there's walls once again. Uh, over here there is another fence going through here so that they don't go into the lemur area. Then, hey, Christina! Um, this is also kind of fenced off for them. Uh, they can get onto here, but even here, there is a fence going through all of these bushes. So that is keeping them in, and then the gates as well. So yeah. All the way around, there's a fence. All the way around. So yeah. Uh, congrats on 750. Thank you. Yeah, super... Super pro. Oh, hey, look, the education talk is actually taking place as well. Huh? <laughs> That's a fun coincidence. Fredo Bedabiti. He, he sounded Italian there. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can figure this stuff out. So, we've got the parking lot. Let's go from Google Maps. Let's see if we can see anything. Oh, you can actually totally just see where the path goes. All right, let's uh, let's pull up this. Ba Bam. And get ourselves our little thingy. What will be that circle on the map? This one, that's the Congo Square parking lot. So basically, halfway through the car safari, there's a big parking lot at the other side of the zoo. And there you can... Um, da -da 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 -da. Which one is it? I think it's this. No, it's this one. Um, so yeah, this is a big parking lot, so when you go and take the car safari, um, in, the, in the past you went around here, but nowadays you go in over here, you drive all the way around, and then you've got a parking lot, and you can take a break from the car safari, walk around the zoo if you want, and then do the second part of the car safari, which is a lot shorter when you think about it, because the first part is all of this and the second part is basically just the Sitatunga, then the desert, the lions and the giraffes. <laughs> it's a lot less. In the first one you've got the big safari, wild dogs, cheetahs, European forest, Asian forest, Asian forest part two, um, camel plains and then another uh, another forest thingy. So bit disproportionate but I mean kind of don't have that, mu that much more space I guess <laughs> uh, all right so here it is on our big map yeah that is true the second part does have the big finale with the giraffes so it's definitely uh, definitely worth it hey fauna hey potatoes police Good to see you here as well. Um, I feel like this picture... Is it different? Because I can't really see the same things. Yeah, it's definitely different. Alright, let's uh, take this. 
see if we can stick it on there. I know we've already started a stream in this exact way. Trying to fit a picture onto the to the thing. It's very cloudy in England today. Here it's actually there's a, there's a lot of clouds, but there's also some blue, so hopefully when I'm at the zoo this afternoon, it's gonna be nice. We're gonna basically get to the zoo, eat, and immediately after uh, we're gonna just go around the zoo. So we're gonna eat at like four. Let's see. Oh, it needs to be rotated as well. That does not make it easier. Actually, I think... No, that's not good. <laughs> I was like, I think we got it. Nope. No, not at all. Why is it so hard to line these up half the time? Oh, I ruined it. I'm not going to spend as long doing this as last time, because that was painful. I think this is actually kind of good. Or not at all. I can't tell. It only needs to be kind of good, though. Let's see, if the thing lines up, then I'm happy. It doesn't. <laughs> Uh, of course not. Uh, actually, we should just go back to having it selected. Yes. All right, let's see if we can just have it line up with this. There we go. I'm just going to kind of stretch it in there. I think that's good enough. What's your favorite animal? Penguin. <laughs> nice. Uh, my favorite animal is the red panda. And it's like a, a kind of sad news. It's almost International Red Panda Day. And I've actually... Uh, I've been meaning to do something for it. But I don't know what. Because uh, I... <laughs> was a little overexcited and I made like a donation link thing. Uh, I signed up to like do that. And then I was like, but what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be away for a few weeks and now that thing is just standing there. I am gonna donate, but I don't know what to do about all that. Um, but yeah, I kind of got some sad news because I hadn't seen that many red pandas at the zoo recently and never really thought much of it because they're usually in their barrels and stuff anyway but it turns out that um, that one of the, the the female red panda passed away shortly after their um, the young moved out so that was actually uh, you can do a red panda explosion speed, but that's kind of... Uh, I don't know what I'd do for just a, a one-off enclosure. I don't really like doing one-off things. Like the rhino stall was because I could do it for someone else's zoo. But, yeah. But anyway, apparently... Um, I haven't checked, because last time I was at the zoo, I didn't really check out the red panda habitat. Because it was, uh, it's like you have to go up a stair. And I was there with my grandparents and they were in wheelchairs. So. Um, but someone else who was at the zoo mentioned that it was actually a sign that the habitat was empty. And that kind of got me a bit, a little bit concerned. Wasn't really that happy to hear that. Yeah, I really hope that today uh, the mill is, is out there. And if not, I'm uh, probably going to ask, see if I can find an employee who can tell me more. Because, yeah, that's 
That's really sad. Uh, so this fence is completely off, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and break that open for a moment already. Because it's completely off. Then... Uh, you gotta go. Hey, goodbye. But yeah, we'll have to see. I don't know. Would definitely kind of suck if uh, if they were gone. Uh, so I gotta quickly figure out exactly what the situation is here because I think this over here is the start of it. I gotta count for a moment. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three. Uh, that's not right. <laughs> Fingers crossed for a new breeding program. They probably would. I don't think they would not have red pandas. Um, but I mean, that's all up to Rotterdam Zoo because they are the uh, head of the red panda breeding program in Europe. So, all up to them, but I'm sure that I'll be fine. So, got the path kind of going like this, but everything over here is kind of scooched over because things were a bit messy. So I gotta quickly figure out, because over here we've got, like, say we take the river as a reference point. Yeah, I think we are supposed to be one over. So we're supposed to start kind of... Let's go like half half a thing over. Because yeah, we're supposed to be kind of at the bottom of the thing. Going sort of this way. And we're going to curve it in to the thing. Which animals would I want in Planet Zoo most right now? Uh, probably the California sea lion. Um, yeah, that's that's mainly it. I don't understand why we don't have dromedary camel and or deer, like any deer, but that isn't a reindeer. Because <laughs> I still I'll never understand. I mean, I guess I sort of understand because it's kind of like a very generic animal to have. Beavers is a very good one, yeah. I always tend to think about zoos that I, or animals that I want for this zoo. But look, why do we have this? <laughs> I mean, we have squirrels and birds. Guys, birds confirmed? <laughs> so yeah, I guess these are not anything to go off of, because we have none of these animals. But I would love Freaking just ambient squirrels. Sometimes you see a squirrel in the tree or something. That would be so cool. And then watch it get eaten by a lion. That'd be sick. <laughs> um. Alright, so we've got another door on this side. Yeah, I mean, everyone's waiting for the new DLC, right? Um, oh wait, I'm gonna take you, flip it, put it on this side, let's put that around about here, I think a path actually goes not into the thing but to the back of it, wish the animals had more animation, they have quite a bit of animation. I'm not really all about bashing Frontier as much as other people. Like, in general, I think they did a very good job. Like, I don't know. Just think, if you think about it, like, if you had to add... Say you had to add peeing to take Leaf's beautiful, <laughs> beautiful video from the other day.
Um, which of course was satire, but it's just uh, it's just a fun example to use. Um, if you had to add peeing to the game, like you would have to do it for every animal. That I cannot even imagine how much work that is. Like if you if you were to have a feature like that, you have to have it from the beginning, or it's just no point in trying to do it. Really? Why are you this way? It needs to be a little darker. There we go. And uh, let's do it the good old way of taking a post and taking this one. I haven't done this in a while. This is how I used to do like all my doors. And I don't know why, because there's so many other pieces that you can use. Actually, I'm, I should probably just use the rod piece, because it's so much more efficient. A lot less polygons and stuff. Just make that black, put it in. There we go. That works a lot better. Uh, we don't have that many common animal like deer, fish, birds, or small monkeys. Yeah, those would be nice to have. I guess they... I mean, when you think about it, uh, the difficulty with adding stuff like that is that you want to market the game, right? You want people... You want to make people excited about these animals. And we might get excited by seeing... Something like a, I don't know, an Australian squirrel. I, I'd be pretty pretty stoked to put that in like a low budget zoo sort of thing. But I feel like the average player probably would be like, what, a squirrel? Frontier is just wasting my money or something, I don't know. So that's probably, probably, they go for a bit more of the higher ticket animals. Which is fair enough, I mean, they gotta make money. Because they're catering to a, a audience beyond just us <laughs> zoo nerds. Uh, how do you make the white thing on the brick wall in the Bird of Prey area? Oh, I can show you that. So, I took... I think you mean this, right? So we got the brick wall. I took the breeze blocks. And I just kind of angled them in. And what's pretty nice about the breeze block, I actually didn't know this. But it's not completely flat. It actually has a bit of that... Kind of shape to it already so if you just sink it into the wall it already gets that kind of broken shape so that worked really really well so yeah just sink stuff into other stuff to make it look like other stuff it's the secret to the game and um, this actually looks like it's more like all the way over here. And then there's probably one on the other side as well, I'm guessing. Can't really see it. Nor can I see it on any of these other pictures. Oh, may maybe this one? No, it's just perfectly blocked off. Well, we're just gonna assume. And I'm gonna get Something painted. I don't know which one yet. I think I want the one from the South America DLC. Is there a one meter one? There is. That's exactly what I want. There we go. Good door. 
crazy detail. <laughs> All right, so we've got the path kind of going around into it. So let's kind of get some extra heavy soil and whatnot. That's kind of going to be that. So we got this path which goes into there. Now I want to make the entrance to that. So we've got just a regular chain link fence. Which goes along here. I'm guessing that's going to meet up with that one. Not 100% sure, but sure enough. Let's hook that up. I'm actually going to redo this fence to be made out of two meter posts as well because so if you want a straight fence to a certain spot just hover on that spot when you place the first fence and then turn on angle snap and you can just go straight and then that happens sometimes <laughs> there you go then you get a straight fence and the only problem is that it's not Got a bit of a, uh, a top problem. There we go. So over here, we're going to have a big old gate. It's time to do some magic. Uh, don't, that doesn't look that good. Uh, but what I do want to do is take... Now I know we have a couple of semi-new people here, so maybe they don't know this magic yet, but ba BAM! Null post. So that's gonna be the Kind of fence gate. I kind of want to lower all of these. What do you want in the 1.7 update? I don't know. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing I want that we're gonna get. <laughs> so I don't know. I want. An actual bus ride. <laughs> How about that? Not gonna get it, but... Oh yeah, wait, I just realized something I wanted to do on this stream. I completely forgot about. Is get rid of all the paths that I placed. Because uh, this is happening. <laughs> and the same thing happens over here. And over here. And... Over where else did I do this? Over here. Yep, you can already see they're also getting stuck. Uh, I gotta think of. Uh, I don't. I don't know how to use this awesome little mod that we got quite yet. I thought I. Yeah, got one over here as well. Gotta figure out how to use that mod a bit better, because uh, I've got the uh, gridless, or the not, not the gridless mod, the no pathing restriction mod thing. But I saw Nicholas Lionrider, he was doing stuff a lot differently, but this path isn't letting me do that, I think. So, I don't know. Because if you do this and place that, then they'll get stuck on the one path. Is what these people were having trouble with. So now they're just going to keep walking because they're unstuck. But yeah, so it's not, not an easy solution there, sadly. I think that's all the paths I've placed, but I'll have to keep an eye out if any guests 
end up getting stuck still. But anywho, we've got, oh, actually, now that I look at it, that is actually almost exactly this. You can even see the little metal thing on top, which this one has as well. So that's actually perfect. And the only thing is that I want the thing. So also because I have that mod installed, I can do this. Uh, but even if you didn't have the mod installed, like that's already a thing I could do with just regular exploits. Hello, the lion. Welcome. And it's still good to use that exploit because it catch, can get you even closer up to stuff. There we go. So let's go to the other side of this. I feel like we should be closer to the to the path. Oh crap. Let's get to like over here. Yeah, actually, I'll have the gate open up. Uh, less, I'm really scared to use mods because last time I used them, the game didn't want to load. But I'll try a couple of them when Mobile 7 comes out. Yeah, that's the next big question is, will all the mods break again? I really hope not, but... Only time can tell. Oh, what? why is there a... What? <laughs> Only time can tell. I really hope they won't break, because it just sucks for everyone, really. <laughs> it sucks for people who have mods installed, because they have to uninstall everything, clean up their zoos. It sucks for the people making the mods, because they have to update all their mods. Yeah, I definitely want to be a bit closer to this thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that because things were getting a little bit tight. It's almost as if we're working with a smaller radius. There we go. Just kind of spread that out a little bit. Doesn't matter too much. There we go. Then on the other side, we've got another pillar which will be another chain link fence going into a no fence oh. whoops no that's what we want all right and what we have that what oh, no Go on the ground. There. Okay. And then on this side, there's going to be Hey, Haribo. Also good to see you. What's, why do you attach to that, you piece of garbage? Uh, no. No. What, it didn't save 19.4 E45? Preposterous. Alright. We're just gonna grab this and move it over there about? I can't really tell what's going on here. We've got the main posts and the fence is both behind it and attached to it. Oh wait. It's like this. But then more like this, I think. I think that's about right. And then this path 
No! Don't attach to that. Piece of... This needs to go straight like this. Or at least semi-straight. I think actually... No, I think that definitely goes very straight, actually. Oh, and then it curved off. Uh, so I think I'm going to actually go ahead and... Go and make that go up to like there. And then up to the front of it. Yeah, I think that lines up with this. Wow. <laughs> All right, that's that's uh, even more perfect than I had in mind. I'll take it. So that is the fence then. And then the next thing is how does that continue along this way? I'm not quite sure. What I do think is a thing, and I don't know if I have a picture of that or not. Um, I'm going to have to check this real quick. Because... I took, uh, you should definitely see this. <laughs> So I was at the, when I was taking the car safari with my grandparents, these guys were like really close up to the cars. And it was so much fun hanging out with them. Look at them hop. <laughs> I absolutely love it. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. I mean, they, these are fantastic animals. Um, do we have any other... No, anything else I recorded this on my uh, was with the camera. Um, no, okay, I think I think that's it then. I don't have a recording of it, or I don't have any footage of it. But oh, you have to go. Good luck, you. Good luck with wherever you have to go to. So the Sitatunga, I'm gonna have to look in this album then. I think this picture might show it. Yeah, it's such a funny little animal. And they're so beautiful with their horns and stuff. Look, it's the forest buffalo. Come on. Come on. So the electric fence goes like up to here, which is weird. I'm not even sure if it's an electric fence or just a wire. Uh, you can kind of see it over here as well. Uh, morning, how much do you have left to finish up? Um, quite a bit, <laughs> to be honest. It's definitely not a one stream deal. I showed it at the beginning of the stream, but I've got this little to-do list. And we are now working on the Sitatunga area. But there is this parking lot. The main parking lot. Then there is uh, two big backstage areas, basically. And there's a ranger camp, which is in the center of the zoo. I got a message from Mimim. Um, oh. And I got another important message, so let me quickly check that out. Uh, um, I gotta think for a moment. Uh, let me quickly type this message. Uh, 
All right. Let me quickly open up Microsoft Teams for a moment and uh, let's see if I can quickly get that out of the way. There we go. That's all secret. <laughs> you don't get to see that. Um, let me boot up a little thingy. There we go. Oh, it didn't. It didn't remember my thing. All right, sorry. This is pretty important <laughs> because it's uh, to record the big the big tour. So uh, do want to get that all settled. And oh. Have I been misspelling this person's name? I feel like I have. And zip it up. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, wasn't able to watch the full video yesterday. How is the new card going? Uh, pretty good. It's really good. I uh, when paused, I get about like almost double the frames to be honest. Uh, and when playing, it's not that big a difference. But I think that's just Planet Zoo being Planet Zoo. So can't do much about that. Sadly, but yeah, no, it works. Uh, it works just fine. So what confuses me is that they've got an electric fence over here, right? And it goes into there, which is. Like right behind the thing. So I think it actually goes from like over here and it goes around to there. Uh, what car did you get? I got a uh, NVIDIA 3080 Ti. I went a little bit overboard, perhaps. <laughs> you know, it, it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's probably more than I'll ever need. Uh, unless... And that's what I'm considering now. Unless I'm... Uh, Maybe gonna get into 4K territory. Buy a new monitor. Which I am considering. But yeah, I was like, I'm gonna have to pay too much anyway because of how the world is right now. So might as well, uh, <laughs> might as well go overboard even a little bit extra. Because I feel like the retail price is supposed to be at like a thousand or twelve hundred something in that range, and I paid like sixteen hundred euros, which is just a little painful. But yeah, yeah, it's also future proofing indeed. Like I'm probably not gonna get a new card for a while, <laughs> and if I do, then just. The make fun of me or something. I don't know. Just <laughs> call me stupid if I do. Because I would be. Alright. I think this is going to be 
something along these lines. Um, hello. And we're going to take that and quickly turn it into a null barrier and do our favorite little trick. No mod for this one yet. <laughs> that makes it easier. Uh, so wait, we have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that was not what you're supposed to do. Messing up my own trick. No. So yeah, brand new card. I haven't tried it on anything other than Planet Zoo yet. I, I should probably try it on like Doom Eternal because that's the only game I own that actually supports ray tracing. <laughs> So I might do that soon. Problem is that I didn't enjoy Doom Eternal that much. I preferred the first one, the 2016 Doom. But I feel like I'm a bit of an outcast in that regard. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one with that opinion. There we go. Let's get the branch or the tat woo is what I always type. And you still get this one because it's planted wood instead of painted wood. Uh, let's see, fin log or thick log? I think thin log. I can recommend Control, great game and looks awesome with ray tracing. I think I've heard about that one. I feel like I've heard about it. Eh, maybe I will go for... Nah, I think I'll go for Finn. Finn log, all the way. There we go. Yeah. In fact, we might even try a little fancy something. Because in real life, you could see kind of this sort of thing. Right? I think like, I saw something like that in one of these pictures. Down here. Where was that? I could have swore I did. This one. Okay, not entirely. It's not, it's not exactly that, but I mean, it's kind of accurate. If you take out if you do it like this it's accurate basically this is the annoying thing about the curved barrier top is that it doesn't stay that way if you move it which is really annoying because you have to keep adding it again that bothers me uh, let's get one, two more then, and one, two, no, what, what just happened? <laughs> I should stop trying to be quick, because it never works. There we go. Gotta lower you down. I think that doesn't really work. 
so that well because if you make them this slim the cable gets like super flat which is kind of funny <laughs> but it also doesn't look that great but it is funny so let's lower you down Wait, this is curved, right? That's weird. Wait, are you curved? Why? Why do they get to stay curved? Come on. Anyway, that looks kind of funny. Getting that effect in there. All right. And now we just go plop. Plop all these down. I wonder if... Um, I don't think they've announced anything of the sort, but I wonder if Graph of Auto 5 will get like a ray tracing update. Why are they rotate it like this? That sucks. Well, I have to redo all of them. Maybe I should have grouped these up. I probably would have been smart. Move. Hello? Didn't let me select it. I know that you can get mods to improve graphics, but I'm not, not sure if it's right. Probably not, because that's definitely something you gotta. Yeah, I, I doubt. I doubt that's a thing that you can do with mods. But I mean, they're making a, a PS5 and an Xbox Series X. That's the name, right? I can never remember. Um, version. So I mean, they're programming it. So I wonder if they'll just throw that onto the PC version as well, or if you have to, if you want to experience it with Ray Trace and you gotta buy the PS5 version, which would be a little dumb. I mean, I already replayed that game pretty recently though, so I don't know. I think Red Dead Redemption had some sort of support, but I don't think it was Ray Trace necessarily. I think it was like a frame rate thing or a 4K thing. Um. Oh, Lofro retracted his message before I could read it. <laughs> but yeah. I know, I heard uh, there's, uh, this fun old game, it's called Cyberpunk. <laughs> that one has ray tracing. <laughs> I actually heard it wasn't that bad if you kind of look past all the issues. And the thing about Hake the thing I hate about making a new zoo is that you can't decide what animal you're going to put first. Yeah, that's the good thing about a recreation. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You just kind of build. I feel like these uh, trees need to get a lot closer to the thing over here. Yeah, they definitely do. In fact, yeah, we need trees like... There's a, a little bit of free space here, but we gotta get trees all up in here, like over there, and here's a bit of free space. I think that is about what we want. Let's just add some trees then, I guess. Make sure we don't accidentally add them to the grid, because that would be a problem. 
Uh, see, it's got spike one. Here we go. And do I have just those two, or do I have my other thingy as well? I think I just have those two. Oh, you forgot to add hate. <laughs> the thing I about me, right? Yeah, I have that sometimes. Especially when you type something fast, and then it ends up wrong. What is that? Is that just... Oh no, there's definitely something that is there. What is that? It's that thing. Huh. Interesting. I have no clue what that could be. Odd. Uh, let's add some long grass in the back here. And we'll add some of the Cressoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyoyo
see about further opening up this fence in. All right, so over here you can see, yes, it does kind of curve off like that. So if we just added another one, we can kind of get started on that. Like so. Maybe a bit more like this, actually. That's too steep. That's too steep again. Wait. This is kind of like drawing a circle from your hand. It's, it's difficult. All right, so that'll end up over there. I think we gotta move this back a little bit. Okay, that's a bit much. Do we have this selected? No, we don't. I was about to say, like, <laughs> that would be impressive. Um, but I think I'm gonna take out like one or two of these. And then we're gonna move this two meters that way. And fix it up. And yeah, over here we've got this open and then this. Hello. Yeah, that's the downside of doing that. There. Uh, it's gonna suck. Oh, there's actually a metal beam. I thought it was wood. Didn't realize it wasn't. Ah, this is the picture I was looking for. It looks so much like wood. <laughs> Probably just gonna keep it. Because it looks close enough. There we go. So that will be that. Let's close that in. And we're just gonna keep making this little thing. So the good part is is that we don't really need to add any pathing here. Not that that would be too difficult, or like not that it would be very difficult with like a whole new mod and stuff, but but for now. I don't see the need, because guests don't have to come here. I think it would be interesting, if, like, if you place the guest spawner here, the guest is going to be walking all the way through the zoo to get to the actual entrance, because a guest won't really start doing anything zoo related until they've walked through this little gate thing. What's happening here? Whoa, hello. What's going on here? <laughs> I think that's a whoopsie, is what's going on over there. I think that's from when we were fixing up the paths earlier. Uh, let's move over here. But yeah, if you put a guest spawner here, because I was thinking like we're going to make a parking lot here. Could put a guest spawner so that they walk around and uh, like back and forth to their cars, but they would actually walk to the entrance point first before going anywhere else, which is a bit 
Uh, let's take some mulch. And I wonder if we take this and we kind of put it like so. Oh, the terrain isn't flat here. That's frustrating. Oh, boy. I want to... I should do that soon. I want to <laughs> expand our live stream music playlist thingy that's playing in the background. I want to add, because most people have it, but I want to add the... Nice. Um, I want to add the Planet Coaster soundtrack to it. Most most other people have that. It's, it's quite a bop. I quite, quite enjoy listening to that one. Um, and I should add more of the DLC music, because I've got none of it, actually. <laughs> I've, I've, I mean, just like the continent, like the in-game speaker music stuff. Because I've got Africa, India and Asia playing. But none of the other ones. I should add like South America, Australia, because they also have some very nice custom music. I remember that there were like some people that had no idea that, that stuff was in the game. Ooh, Seth is back. Tell a friend. I remember, I think it was Toves or Zekin who was doing um, like an update video when the when the custom audio was released and he was like, and they added all this music. <laughs> I think, nope, that was there since the start of the game. <laughs> People just never really paid attention to it. Oh, that's a bummer. I don't like that at all. I am not a fan. That sucks. Right, so let's see if we paint this nice and dark. That, that doesn't matter that much. There we go. See if we can get a grass stroke in the middle or not. It's going to be a bit more of a challenge. Oh, I think that works. Something like that works pretty well. And then we can take the... So if you type space and then grass, in the nature tab, not in the construction tab, and if you actually spell grass correctly, uh, then actually you get like all the grasses in the game, like the eel grass, the dream grass, elephant grass, the Australia grass. It's actually super useful because it saves on typing a bunch of stuff and you just get all the different grasses that you might want to use. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff as a little Efficiency hint. I'm always out here trying to at least be a little efficient because I'm already a super slow builder, so 
might as well add some shortcuts for myself. All right, so this area was like super grassy somehow. So let's make that. Let's make it so. And uh, did you hear about the new big mod? Which big mod? Oh, the like the the thingy, the thingy that the the hired the hired person, the commission thing. Because if that's what you're talking about, I did hear about it, and as as anyone. I'm a little bit skeptical because they're kind of doing a. Uh, I feel like they announced it just a little too early. Like they should have waited until they had at least something to show. Because they make, they're making huge promises, like groundbreaking stuff, like custom animations and stuff like that. Um. So yeah, that was a bit of a, like. Are you sure you're going to be able to do that? Because that sounds like a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. And uh, I'm, I am completely open to the idea, of course. Although, that, that's another thing. Because I did talk with someone. Uh, I won't name their name, because I don't know if they want, want to have to be on the record or not. Because I... I mean, it was a private conversation. I'm not going to call anyone out for stuff they told me in, in good faith. But... They were like... I don't know how Frontier's going to react. <laughs> um, which is also fair. Because this is a, a, a pretty... This is uh, different than just mod what modding's been so far. Um... And to be honest, if I was Frontier and this guy is actually able to make what he's making, then I would uh, I would hire him in an instant. <laughs> but I'm not Frontier, so I don't know what they're going to do. Frontier will be pissed, but don't give a damn. Yeah, well... See, we keep saying that. <laughs> but there's gonna be a point where they're gonna be pissed and they will give a damn. And that's when they are going to actively try to prevent modding. And that's when we're all gonna have a bad time. <laughs> so, I don't know. Like, and it's, I, I'm a little confused as to why he's choosing to do this now and not when the game's no longer being supported because like that's a he it's a really big commission to, to hire a guy to do all this stuff that he's gonna be doing like that must have cost a fortune <laughs> and the game's not even done yet <laughs> like what if everything that they're making breaks the next update and it's gonna keep doing that you know it's like why are you paying for this now and not you know in in x amount of months when the game's done it's just that that kind of confuses me a little bit but hey and for that i say not my money um, he can do whatever he wants with his money but it's a little <laughs> a little confusing I mean, if they delivered on what they promised, then huge props to both of them. Can't wait to play around with it. Just uh, gotta see it first. And I don't want to sound overly negative. Like, I, I completely welcome the idea. It's just, yeah, they probably should have waited until they at least had like a video of a orangutan doing some recreation or a gibbon.
There we go. A little gate. It has a thing, but I don't have that thing. I'm gonna get the sign. Let's see, where is that one? Right here. Uh, four to five species have been revealed. Yeah, the orangutan, the gibbon, the giant eland antelope, or giant common eland, what was it? I, 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 that's just a species I keep forgetting the name of. No. And wait, was it? I think I, I think I've only heard three of them. What's the fourth? <laughs> this is something that's a little bit of a shame. Like, this is all Bramble, but the Bramble in game looks so different to the Bramble in real life. And I don't know if it's because it's like a different kind of Bramble or because something went wrong. That's <laughs> always kind of caught my attention. It's a bit weird. Saplings. Um, actually, got a birch in here as well. These are also a bit difficult to get right. Because they're so big. That'll do. And then we just got a big grassy field. I want to add. Um, let's go in here and add Ted W. Ted W. Wait, I gotta quickly. My underpants are uncomfortable for some reason. It's been a, that way for about a week. I've got a. Like, I, I helped someone move home, and that day, something gone, went wrong down in my pants. Like, it, they cut into my uh, thingies, I don't know what you call those. Let me actually get the right word. My groin. I don't feel like that's exactly the word I mean, but whatever. Uh, I always thought groin was just the entire nether region, basically, but maybe I just mislearned that word. But yeah, it hurts down there <laughs> a lot, and old pants are uncomfortable. But <laughs> spare me the details, please. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not... See, that's the problem. I don't know what the area that's hurting is called, but it's not... It's not that area. It's like more to the leg. Mm. 
but I'll stop talking. <laughs> Let's see. Now, do we put these on everything? Because that would be a lot of extra effort, but it would look cool. So, let's do it anyway. Something I want to do kind of across the entire zoo anyway. Like, when we get... Or if, if or when... No, it's a when. Because I'm definitely going to do it. When we get to redoing the cheetah and the... Uh, Hyena habitats at the front of the zoo. Like, that's definitely part of what I want to do to them. Okay, maybe I'm not going to do this, actually. It's kind of a waste of stuff for an area that might not even get seen. Um, yeah, I definitely want to add... Like, custom supports and stuff to all those fences because they have to have them and I want to do like the custom anti-climbing with half meter chain link pieces which will make them a lot more accurate that's actually something pretty cool um, I don't feel like going all the way over there to show it because I've been zip zopping around too much already I'm not going to get anything done doing that but there's like the cheetah habitat one of the two cheetah habitats that you see from the walking route has like this anti-climbing protection around all the trees and the other one doesn't and I've always been so confused about that uh, but the other day uh, we were taking a sunrise safari which was uh, basically just walking around the zoo with a guide uh, before opening times and it was a lot of fun But also, I learned a lot of new stuff. For instance, that anti-climbing is there because uh, cheetah cubs are able to climb up in the trees. Uh, while the adults can't. So that's why in that habitat, that's why they always raise the young for like the first half year. And uh, after that, after like half a year, they lose the ability to climb. Because from that point onwards, they can't retract their claws anymore. So that was actually really interesting. Alright, we're gonna make a little group of grass, like that, and we're just gonna, oops, uh, we're just gonna kind of stamp that around, because otherwise we're gonna be here forever, trying to cover this area. Because we are doubling up on the grass a little bit. I mean, we don't want to do too much of it either. I feel like this is a bad idea. <laughs> Especially in combination with the short grass, at least. Or the long grass, I mean. Let's get rid of the long grass. And around there, you can kind of, you know, bring it back. <laughs> and we can put some of it around here as well. Because this is what you're going to see from the other side. From over here. So we probably want to add some of the grass here. Mm 
I don't think this gate ever gets used, which is why I'm just going to put some grass in front of it. There we go. And we're going to put a bunch of trees around there as well. Uh, so on the front here, we already added that tree. Then there's kind of a more spruce like tree over here. Well, it's, it is a pine tree, I think. I don't actually know the difference. I'm not a. Oh, that's perfect. Maybe get a slightly smaller one. No, I think this one's actually fine. Something like that. And the question I have, which I hope I have an answer for. Yeah, I think that's this. So there is another, like one of these hill sort of things. So let's get that going here. That's the main reason I put that fence back a bit when I did. Because I thought that was going to be another one of these hill things. And we can just stop that around there, I think. So I think I actually want to put this even further back, which kind of blows. But also should be fine. If I put it back another that many meters, will that completely mess it up? Or is that fine? It is kind of like really up against the thing though. So I think it's fine. Hmm. Should have taken a panorama photo here. And it's kind of far into the thing, but this is this is pretty far. Yeah, no, I think this is good. I think I think we're good. So let's increase the height of this. I mean I, I do kind of want to be over there. I think I'm going to go ahead and go delete this. I think I'm going to kind of alter the shape of this. And go a little bit more straight at the start. before slowly making our way around. That's better. In fact, I went too steep. We can go a little bit extra here. Even there, I think. She went a bit much. Okay, now we're going too much. Went a bit too straight at first. It's really hard to get this right in one go. That's what I want, I think. Just kind of smooth it out a bit. Moving some things. But I think that's a good curve. Just... Yeah, whatever. Good enough is good enough. Okay, so we're gonna 
just get this all the way up against that. Like so. Then on this side, make sure it's kind of flattened. And on the other side as well, actually, you're going to move this over like so. And these are going to be those parking spots. That are kind of up against it. Which you can see over here. So that is kind of parking space. It's not really, but it's kind of. I think these pictures were taken like the 30th of June. No, the zoo had been open. For a moment I thought like maybe the zoo hadn't been open for a while when these pictures were taken and that's why there is a lot more grass there, but the zoo had been open for about a month when this when these pictures were taken, so I guess that's just what it looks like. Despite potential parking cars. So that's gonna work itself out and we're gonna higher this up just a little more. It's gonna get higher when we add the foliage to it as well but let's just do that because now we're gonna go ahead and grab the bramble. Why do I keep going to the construction tab? Bram, bram, bramble. So yeah, um, the plan is to stream more often in the going forward, um, but I've said that a lot of times. <laughs> Um, but what I kind of want to do is maybe start streaming in the evening for me, like starting around 9 or 8 or 9 p.m. And then going up until like 10 or 11. So I think for Drew and Totter, that wouldn't be great because they'd be a bit uh, asleep or, or just woken up by then. But that's kind of the problem. You can't, can't really please everyone because the Americans will be a lot happier when I do that. <laughs> and the Europeans as well, probably, because I feel like most people are either at work or in school, if I keep streaming around these times. So that wouldn't be great either. You want square shapes for making terrain because you only get the circle. Yeah, that would be a pretty good one. Yeah, we might pick like a day because I want to do either weekly or bi-weekly, meaning every other week because bi-weekly has two meanings and it's actually a meaningless word and I hate it. Um, <laughs> just throwing some shade onto the word bi-weekly there. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's not a Drew-friendly time. I mean, we can probably mix it up a little bit also do some some streams at uh, at these sorts of times oh, 
Oh, there's a kid crying outside. Oh, I thought the sun was able to get to that, but it's not. That's fine. Um, wait a second. If you're... Huh? I guess this is a lot more over here-ish. Oh god, now the kid is screaming. That's just... I think it's just a classic... I want attention where God it sounds like you're dying <laughs> and if I look outside all I can see is a little kid on a bicycle following their mom so it's probably a uh, I don't want to go home or something stupid like that Kids, man. <laughs> um, still not exactly sure what's going on over here. With this gate, but it's fine. Let's see, you've got a bunch of versions. Mommy, <laughs> Mommy did not buy me the five million dollar toy. I'd like to think I wasn't that kid, but also maybe I was. I don't know. I remember being at the toy store with my mom and one thing a Lego said, and I feel like I was more like having a debate with my mom rather than begging for it. I was like just poorly trying to convince her to buy it. <laughs> Like, oh, but I'm sure my sisters will also love it very much, so we should buy it. <laughs> very persuasive. But who knows, maybe I'm just misremembering. Because I can imagine that I was a pretty annoying kid as well. But maybe more in a different way. Who knows. The only thing I can remember doing that might have annoyed my mom was needing help finding a Lego piece when I was building. Mom, I can't find this piece. Okay, honey, I'll be right there. And then when she finally gets up, oh, I found it. <laughs> Classic. I don't know if that's relatable to anyone else, but that happened all the time when I was building my Lego sets. And I think my mom was <laughs> really sick of it after a while. There's also, there's a video of me, um, <laughs> of me playing with uh, a Godzilla toy. Hey, potatoes, please welcome back. Uh, there's a video of me playing with a, a Godzilla toy, and my mom was recording it because I was like, "I'm gonna make a movie, mom," and it was literally just me, <laughs> just sitting there for ten minutes with a Godzilla toy, screeching. <laughs> and knocking down like buildings that I made out of uh, little wooden sticky things called Kapla. <laughs> and after like 10 minutes, you could just hear my mom saying like, uh, battery's dead, and she just turns off the camera. <laughs> and I feel like she was just done with me at that point. <laughs> I don't think the batteries were actually dead. Uh, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Happy uh, with stuff. A uh, little mini announcement. Tomorrow I'm going to be enjoying... Um, uh, enjoying? What? I'm going to be recording the Big Zoo Tour. So that's going to be fun. Be expecting that soon? Like a week or something from now? 
then probably be releasing it sometime next week. All depends. It's gonna be a, a little series. I'm gonna make it into a couple of episodes. That was Haribo's ID, and I agree, because otherwise we're gonna have a two hour video that no one's gonna watch. And instead, we're gonna have some, um, yeah, just a couple of half hour videos, nicely spread out. And it is gonna be something new, like, because I'm kind of afraid sometimes that I'm, you know, milking the, uh, do you know how Leaf Productions is? I don't know how he is, I know who he is. <laughs> we, uh, we're, we're pals, I'd say. We, we talk on Discord sometimes. And it's gonna be a Planet Zoo tour. And that's kind of what I'm, like, I've done several tours walking around and of course for every video of an area I, I, I show pretty much everything so it's a little like i've shown this all before but because we're gonna be joined by the actual zoo's designer uh, i think it's gonna be a whole new experience and it's gonna be such a nice way to lead us into season two so to say um because half of season two is gonna be adding all the new stuff the new rhino area, the new signs, any other changes that were made since the corona closures. But um, half of it is also just going to be improving what we've already made. And I think that's something that uh, the tour tomorrow is going to bring so many new insights into certain areas that are going to make me want to rebuild them at least that's what i hope i'm hoping that we're gonna learn so many new things about how things are set up and things that i might have done wrong or misinterpreted and it's gonna be super interesting i think i mean the rhino saw video was exactly what i hoped for so i hope this is gonna be as interesting Okay, you accidentally put who instead of who, how instead of who. Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't leave. Mm. He's a good guy. Also makes good content. He gave me a shout out like once or twice. He basically gives me a shout out whenever he <laughs> thinks of it. He's like, oh, Goron's in the live stream. Hey everyone, subscribe to Goron. So I'm gonna do the same. Everyone subscribe to Leaf. He does a lot of cool modded stuff. He does mod showcases that I always enjoy to watch just to see what's been out there. Because I try to keep an eye on the Nexus, but I'm not going to install everything. And in the videos you actually get to see what the mods look like and stuff. This is starting to look just like a layered cake. And that's not a good thing. You've got to break it up a bit more. I mean, I figured that you watch Leaf Potatoes, <laughs> because you're the one who brought them up. Mm. Maybe get the high trailer. Mm. Not a huge fan. Um, that might be actually. Yeah, I think you were in in the in the one of those streams where Leaf was like, "This guy." Because I think shortly after that you uh, you joined one of my live streams. So that very well might be. Right, let's get a sapling. Get this boy.
And let's get the birch trees as well. This one, the Himalayan birch 2, it's kind of like a straight line almost of trees. So that one's always very nice if you want to make like a uh, a wall of trees in a way. You can kind of just place a couple of those. And then add some of these to get some finer details in. we can add. These are pretty nice. There's like a bush. I mean, this needs to just look... Do you play Jurassic World Evolution? No, I don't. I do have it, because it was free at some point on, like, Epic Games or something. But even then, I still have never touched it. <laughs> it just, when it was announced, I was like, wait, a dinosaur game from the makers of Planet Coaster? And then when they first showed some gameplay, I was like, oh. Oh, so it's not like Planet Coaster at all. I was really hoping for like the same level of creativity you have in Planet Coaster and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, that that I I lost interest pretty much that moment. <laughs> it's free on the Xbox Game Pass. Oh, that might be it then, because I do have that as well. Uh, and Jurassic World Evolution Two, it looks better, but still, um, Planet Coaster or uh, Good Morning, um, Planet Zoo is kind of fulfilling that creative need of mine right now. And I don't know if I'll play Jurassic World Evolution 2. I mean, it's nice that other people are enjoying it. Uh, Prehistoric Kingdom, on the other hand, I am looking forward to trying out whenever that gets available. Might have to wait a while. So is this asphalt or not? I cannot tell. Honestly. It does look like asphalt, but at the same time it doesn't. Like, this is more like gravel. It's a very weird mix. <laughs> I think I am going to put down asphalt, because this is asphalt, right? Yeah. I don't know where half of these pictures are taken. This is actually is kind of fun. Um, something I kept in mind while making a penguin habitat. Uh, this is over here. You can actually kind of see the penguin habitat from over here. Uh, have you ever considered making a mod for the Bigsberg? I have. But uh, it's kind of daunting getting into modding. I have made 3D models before. In fact, I might have a video of that. Um, I'd have to look it up though. Oh, hello. Fauna Create subscribed? That's so cool. Um, wait, I'd have to scroll down quite a bit. Because it was at the end of my bachelor. Which is... Oh, here it is. So this was uh, my final Bachelor project. Oh. And it was a little VR game. And uh, this little animal that you can see, I made him myself. In Blender. So... I, I got some experience modeling stuff, but... I wasn't that great. <laughs> I don't know. 
and then playing the zoom mods is a whole different thing, of course. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I made all the animations and stuff myself, I coded everything, it was kind of cool. Penguin. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think I am going to put down some asphalt around. Is flooding terrain on? No. Okay, good. Uh, let's actually have a look here. Don't think we need you anymore. What's your favorite vegetable? Um, we pretty much always eat carrots and peas. <laughs> So, I guess carrots and peas. Um. Not sure how much more terraforming I'm going to have to do around here. So I don't want to put down paths everywhere, but I think this side is pretty much done. So it's fine if we add them here. I don't think there's like a... I don't have to check that up here but oh there's actually like a path along the path like along the road so we do want to alter that a little so that there's space for that so i think this one then goes sort of like this let's have a look I cannot tell <laughs> what is going on here. Wait, that's actually this. What the hell? What is going on there? Oh, wait, we're looking at this. Wait, 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 wait. This is interesting. Let's wait for that to load in. So... This, I think, is where... Yes, that's where the little gate is. Okay. That's gonna be helpful. So we're gonna have some birch trees next to that. And the Scots Pines. That's those birch trees that we put over here. But the most important part is... That... This road is actually very, very short indeed. Like this. There you go. And that kind of lines up with that smaller path. So let's have a look. Oh, right, because we weren't... Uh, for some reason I was thinking that... But we're over here. So yeah, that does make sense then. I think we can make this one... Thing longer. And then... What I want to do, actually, is take... Oh crap. 
Let's actually make it like this. Make it go up. And I'm going to make it go up over here as well. I'm going to take that one out. No, we're not. <laughs> and I got a smaller... Hello? Game. I'm going to do this. And now get rid of this one. And... What do you do, do as a job? I'm currently... Actually, no longer. Um, for a while, I didn't have a job because I got laid off due to uh, Corona, everyone's favorite. What am I doing? Oh, right. You know, you can go. Um, but soon I'm actually going to get a little thingy going again. So I'm going to be working, not my old job, but for the same company doing some things. Because they needed people again. Basically, I used to work on the train doing a research for the Dutch Railway. That basically consisted of uh, not really checking if people had valid tickets, but it was a research about what types of tickets people use. And... Hello. You can go. Um, so yeah, we weren't checking people's tickets, but we were scanning them for, for the purpose of that research. Um, but now, um, because of Corona, there were no trains for quite a while. So that's when I uh, basically lost my job. And now there's still no budget to do that research again. So they're not. But they do want to have some data of train occupation. So they're hiring us again to basically just count how many people are in the train. So that's what I'm going to be doing for a while. But that's just a side job, of course. I'm, I'm still a student. I still go to university. You got to go again? Okay. Hey, see you later. Enjoy whatever you're going to be doing. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to line that up with that. Not sure where that's going to end up. We're going to just put a path out here. And uh, speaking of jobs, I don't know if I've posted or talked about this anywhere, um, but the other day I was at the zoo and I got kind of uh, talking with one of the employees at the bird of prey area because she had a pretty uh, pretty quiet day <laughs> all she really had to do was open the gate to the bird of prey safari and uh, close it again whenever the show would uh, start or end <laughs> so not the most eventful day for her um, but turns out that she actually did the same study that I'm currently doing and uh, she was mainly there just as a side job as well. Um, but yeah, we got talking about the recreation I'm doing and stuff like that. And she was like, pretty cool. And she was like, why don't you work here? And I was like, why don't I work here? So next time I have a meeting with the education manager, which is uh, next Tuesday. I kind of maybe want to ask him, hey, if you're still looking for people, <laughs> I wouldn't mind working here. That'd be pretty cool. And not to be too cocky, but I think they'd be happy to have me 
if they're looking for people, that is. If they're not looking for people, then yeah, that's just that. But we'll see. Would be cool, because uh, then I'd be part of the education team, just doing like guided tours and stuff like that. And you might have noticed, I do quite enjoy talking about this zoo. <laughs> so. If I could make that my job, yeah, man, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. go. Ton of bramble. Let's get some birch up in there. Maybe get these ones. There's actually quite a lot. Oh yeah, wait, actually, now we're doing, we're doing fine space-wise. I think this is pretty accurate. There you go, that will be that little group, and this will be the other one. They don't quite look the same, but what do you expect? Gotta work with what we got. And this is that. <laughs> so yeah, back here there's gonna be a bunch of those Scott Pines. And this bramble is just gonna go all the way to the back there. Oh, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> We're back, gonna get lunch. Hey, enjoy your lunch. We're going to be going for about half an hour still, and after that I got to leave as well. So uh, if you don't make it back in time, then I wish you a very happy rest of your day. All right, let's clean that up a little bit. Yeah, we just got to... Get these rambles all the way. So this part of the thing is a little bit less dense than the other one. Did I mess this up? I don't think so. There we go. We can kind of just do it like this. I think I wanted to add more bramble here as well, but I've got some pictures that would help with that. So we'll see about that in the future. We're also going to have to maybe start thinking a little bit about um, adding a, a monorail station and the car thing station because yeah I was talking about how we're not gonna have paths going into the parking lot we actually are because I do want to get some transport rides up in here in the future but we can also just say that is a concern for them <laughs> don't have to think about that yet which I think is actually a great idea just make it future me's problem Because yeah, we're probably just going to have a path going kind of up to here and maybe make this kind of the getting on point for the car ride and just have that go like this. I, I'm not sure how it's going to go yet, but 
around <laughs> around the parking lot and then back into the habitats. It's always interesting if you make a ride like that. Like, it's gonna be a very long ride. It's gonna go all the way from one side of the zoo to the other. So the stats on that ride will probably say something along the lines of duration, 70 years. <laughs> or at least it's gonna take several days of in-game time to uh, to get across and I don't know how many guests will actually use it if we end up making it but we'll see about it then I don't really care oh you're already back Hey, glad to catch the stream. Hi, Cyrus. Glad to see you catching a stream. <laughs> Alright, so we got this gramble. I think I'm going to stop it at around there. That's good enough. Here it is. going to kind of go around this birch a bit. Nope. Oh, that's a tough one. Gotta kind of see if we can use this one to position it and then put it in. Is it just me or is there just like a green? Yeah, it's just a bunch of planes stacked on top of each other. It's a pretty good... It works, it just looks a bit weird when you sink it into the ground sometimes. Which is exactly what we're doing. <laughs> well, it looks pretty good. The other day, uh, there was someone... I wouldn't even call it complaining, he was just being a butt, <laughs> telling like, oh, Frontier's model uh, plants are so bad, and it was like, what are you talking about? These are fantastic. Like, one thing, that's like the one thing that gets praised about this game is the foliage. Like, it's, it was good enough for Mike Sheets to make a series just about making a garden. <laughs> So, ta-da, we're gonna get those trees around in a bit. I think I'm actually gonna put the other birch tree here, just to the regular one. It's a bit too big, but looks a lot better. And it should be a lot taller than these, so that's accurate enough. Uh, I think I've put down a bunch of temporary foliage here that I want to get rid of. Did I not? Oh no wait, I guess I didn't save that. Huh, okay. Because I did put some trees down here when I was taking the screenshot. By the way, oh this is something I forgot to show during the video. There's like another little penguin aviary area over here. Which I don't know if they still use, but it had this really interesting net shape that I tried to kind of get. <laughs> I tried to pull a Haribo, it wasn't that great, but it works. It got the job sort of done from a distance. <laughs> and that's also something you can kind of see from, from over here, which is kind of funny. And once we get to this backstage area, I do have some pictures that kind of show the backside of all this stuff, which are taken from the car ride, 
what goes along here. So, gotta see how how much of that I can kind of implement there. <laughs> what was I doing? Right, trees. I was gonna add trees. Let's see, we've got spots pine, spots pine. My favorite pine, the one with all the spots. Let's add some of those. That was number three. Now let's get number one. I know that that area is kind of supposed to be a little bit open, so let's keep it that way. As for this area, just fill her up. Just absolutely fill it up with trees. Do we need trees over there as well? Where are we? Um, definitely, definitely gonna want some trees here. Let's get a number, number three. Let's get the lower ones as well, because I feel like we need them, because there's a bunch of stuff that's kind of like lower down. Like so. There we go. Ooh, now it's so dark here. <laughs> Can we get some sunlight? Not really. It's just how it is. Alright, let's get some extra color in here. Using some other plants. a nice palette. Just getting some variation in also breaks up the sea of bramble as you could almost call it. Even though that is pretty much what this looks like. And we're gonna get some of those other flowers, but that's all for this part. So not quite yet. We'll get to that part later. I mean, we're mainly working on the Sitatunga area. We kind of swapped, swapped places a bit. works decent enough. There you go. Yep, that works. Just gonna do that over here as well. Let's 
something like that. Because I think if we just look back over here, yeah, it kind of goes straight across into the next ring. So they've got a uh, a passage. That's probably that's actually kind of smart because then you don't have to make this turn, but you instead go around like that, and they usually have like a uh, a thingy. What do you call that? A uh, what do you call that? I honestly don't know. I have a blueprint of it. I just don't know what it's called. What do you call that? Like the thing behind the car. What? I guess I uninstalled the blueprint. A trailer? Is that, a, is that also called the trailer? I did not know that. This thing can go. It has no purpose anymore. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's put down like one or two cars. For the fun of it. Let's take... This yellow one. And there's a green one. And this one. Oh, that froze the game. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Love how dense the foliage is. Yeah. I mean, just trying to replicate what's in real life. Like, I try to kind of determine... I do it mostly by looks. Um, but in this case, it's like, yeah, there's Bramble in real life, so we're gonna put down the Indian Bramble, even though they look different, which is weird. Let's put down a car. Over here. And a car over here. I'm not even sure if this is actually a parking spot or not. I don't see anyone parked here, so I guess not. So let's actually put them over here, where there are some parked cars. And let's then also this I think the only ring I'm not gonna make it is the middle one because that one does have some kind of terrain variation around it I mean we can always remove paths if we think they're wrong so let's try to keep this going I feel like this is wrong I feel like it needs to be closer to that one. Mamma Mia, you're here again. You've got about 15 minutes left. I have to... Well, actually... Wait. <laughs> I have to go at quarter past two. Well, then I have to catch a bus. So I have to go a little bit sooner than that. Alright, let's put this... Yeah, that's actually good enough. Because then it's... Yeah, then you've got about that same amount of spacing. And room for the cars to park. So that's going to go straight through to there. It does bend off a bit more though. Wait, maybe... It goes like this. Why do I feel like it has to stop over there again? Wait, let's... No, I don't want to pin it. That's not at all what I wanted. Go back 
I want to see. I think this thing goes kind of straight, right? I have no idea. Is that what this is? This is such a mystery. <laughs> oh boy. I don't have very clear pictures of that area. Mm. I thought I did. Turns out I don't. But I think... As well, if you look over here... That's not what I wanted. What? What? It hasn't saved my rotation. That's the wrong... Ah, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I just want to turn off labels. That's all I wanted. Does this go... I don't think it does. I think I can see some things there. In fact, we've already made them. I mean, I have to have based that off of something. I mean, there's a car parked over there, so I guess. And the rope fence. Yeah, I think the rope fence just kind of keeps going until the thing actually. So that's good then. So that kind of just ends there. So that means... That means... Yesterday, Limpopo arrived from Bexberg to Wildlands. I wonder if the Bexberg is going to get a different mill. Or, like, how that's going to go. I'm sure we'll find out. Because Wildlands' mill is going to... Um, Denmark. Somewhere. I do like that, uh, like the Bakersberger would sacrifice, not, well, not sacrifice, but like give up their own rhino for the betterment of the breeding program. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. All right, actually, I don't want to go to the middle yet because we got to do some terraforming around there, but I think something like this is what we're gonna have. And then over here... We can kind of go... Like this... I'm not really sure. This is all seeming a little off. Yeah, that seems pretty good. This seems a little off still though, but... Oh wait, no, this is where the cars are gonna park. Right, so that doesn't seem that off then. Might change that, but... Oh, this all seems fine. And then here we're going to have maybe a, th a bit of a thicker road. See, this is a, a downside of the mod. That you can't... Like, it's like, oh yeah, I can do that, but that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to connect up with it. So, probably going to deinstall the mod sort of soon. And I'll reinstall it when I need it. Because, yeah, this is... See, even now, like, that should connect, but it's not. So, yeah, that's a bit annoying. I'm not sure if I should have made that a thicker road or not, actually. 
Let me make it five. Also, I'm doing it way too steep. It's gonna go kind of like this. Come on, just connect. Why won't you connect? Maybe it's because of the barriers? Like it, it knows that it's not supposed to make a thing there. And that's why it doesn't. Is that it? That's weird. That would be weird. If you ask me. But it appears to be what's happening. Laughs a kicker at the bags back would try a bachelor white rhino group with young and old white rhinos on the resort. They already have a bunch of white rhinos at the resort. I actually don't know. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> that they have the white rhinos there. Alright. So we've got the circle thingy here. That's what that is. Bunch of other stuff, bunch of other stuff. I think that's the kind of paths for this area. And this part is gonna go pretty straight into there. I can actually kind of get that going already, I guess. Oh, over here I gotta be careful because I've got some... Oh, wait. Looks like I've got a bunch of terrain terrain variations that we don't really want. I can get rid of these. Don't need them anymore. Uh oh. Something tells me that was grouped up to something else. What are you grouped up with? Huh? Nothing. Oh, it looked like it. It felt like it was grouped up to something else, but... That's kind of... Yeah, see, there's, there's a bunch of non-straight stuff. But I mean, if it's minor enough, it doesn't matter, because... It'll only add to the jankiness of this parking lot, which is a good thing. But major terrain variations do need to kind of be looked out for. There we go. There's going to be cars parked around there. Right. Don't think there's actually asphalt there. This is a bit of a weird corner of the whole thing. I'm not going to lie. That's just kind of... Give it that. And then connect these up. Now I think maybe that has to go a bit more downwards. Oh. Hello? What's it doing? Path tool can be a bit weird sometimes. Alright, so I do want to kind of go over there, so... Let's try this sort of angle. That's better. 
Doesn't need to be completely straight either. Because that's just where the carcifer is going to go to. Alright. So, ba bam. Ba boom. Let's see what other sort of connecting roads are there. There's appears to be something over here, but I wouldn't really know. Um, then there's this. I mean, this definitely connects. Does that go all the way to the middle as well? Wouldn't be surprised if it did. It at least goes over there. And the rest is kind of up for interpretation. <laughs> uh, gotta keep an eye on the clock. So we are going to have a lot of kind of probably going to use a bunch of tropical rocks. To get like dirt and stuff on the path because the paths here aren't or the, the the roads here aren't like brand new asphalt <laughs> it's very janky and old so we do want to kind of get it across like i mean just look at this <laughs> um so if we take something like the let's see we are currently Wait, where am I? Over here. This picture's taken over here. So if we take something like the mossy... ...thing... Like that would be... ...pretty good. Um, oh. But not perfect. I'll be honest. I thought it'd be better. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see. This can be... I think I'm just going to use the same type of trees around this area. For consistency's sake. We're going to put one of these over here, another one over there. These kind of just go, go around the place, really. Right, Google Maps, can you confirm that? Yeah, that's just a bunch. All the way around. Don't have to pay too much attention to that. Uh, what we do need to pay attention to though is that there is going to be a little cross crossing over here. Let's see. Something like that. two trees before the thing that seems accurate okay yeah there's actually exactly two trees before the thing and it looks like there's a rope there but I can't tell no there's not okay let's get a rope fence. I think this one's actually outdated. Yep. Like the only fence in the zoo that I didn't update. 
and I copied it over there. Oh no. Gotta remember to update that. <laughs> Ugh, getting a bit tired. I haven't streamed in a while, gonna get back into it. Alright, let's take uh, let's take this rope fence over here if I can. Hello, bamboo, please. And yeah. Let's copy that. To the parking lot. Ba Bam. Take that out. It's kind of a straight piece. That's why I'm taking that. I mean, we gotta have it a bit curved, actually, but just a bit. Hey, go remind A B F A F B coding uh, worked out. Can I send you the files over? Uh, you could, but I don't have time to check them out. Sadly, because I have to go like any moment. I've got about 10 minutes left and that's about the time it takes to load into the zoo so uh, but I'll definitely check them out next stream if you send them over just DM them I could also just quickly download them if this is not great but I mean that's probably for the entire area so be it I'm not gonna I'm trying not to go in, like too crazy in like accuracy and details for areas like this that are a bit more you know off the beaten path most people probably aren't going to look at them, or at least not that much. And if we go too crazy with them, they're just going to eat up performance while not contributing that much, which would be a bummer. So, just kind of need to make them serviceable enough. Still not sure if it's supposed to. If you're also supposed to be able to park your car on this side of the fence. Because I feel like maybe it is. Yeah, just tell me when you upload them on Nexus and I'll be sure to check them out. I remember a very long time ago, I was already seeing some screenshots of an African buffalo on like the modding Discord, so I don't know whatever happened to that one. But I'm glad, finally, I'll be able to add one to the zoo thanks to you, so that'll be great. I guess all sorts of things can happen that causes someone not to finish a mod or anything really it's not just a modding specific problem I suppose 
Yeah, okay, we're just gonna keep it like that. And let's take out this stuff. Oh, you still need to do the babies. Yeah, yeah. Can't forget about the babies. Hey, Poison Blade! You are really good, from what I've gathered, at joining streams right before they end. I've got about nine minutes left <laughs> until I gotta go. <laughs> go and visit the zoo. So, <laughs> welcome to the beginning of the end so to say. <laughs> but good to see you. Thanks for checking out the stream. Um, so let's see what have we got still. So I can get some of this grass in. <laughs> and let's just get Ooh, maybe you can actually put down yeah caribou moss doesn't look that great when you sink it in the ground like that which is a bit of a bummer don't you dare leave my man. I'm going to the zoo with my mom. I can't abandon her. And now I'm typing abandon because. <laughs> uh, what am I? What am I typing? <laughs> my brain shut off for a moment there. I was getting too worried about poison blade. You know, sometimes you just can't stop thinking about poison blade. Yes, you can. I can. I cannot abandon my mom. No, but seriously, we are going to the zoo, and we're gonna stay there until closing time, which is at 9 p.m. And this is the last week where that's the case. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm really curious about uh, oops, about what that's going to be like. <laughs> you know, there's so many you can, uh, you cans in the chat right now <laughs> that I don't even know <laughs> what they're relating to anymore. Poison Blade, please stop guilt tripping me into streaming. <laughs> okay, wait. I, d I feel like this is not even faster than my usual method of doing this. So, let's do it that way. So we're going to flip this rope around. I'm the master of guilt tripping people into streaming. Your magic is useless here. Is that the reference? I don't even know what I'm referencing there. Is it your magic is no good here? But I still don't know what it's from. What is that from? Because now I'm just thinking about your money is no good here from the second episode of What If. On Disney Plus. I haven't watched the most recent episode yet because I started watching it with my roommate. And now I feel bad for going ahead of him. I'm going to look it up. Was it... Oh wait, you have no power here in Lord of the Rings. It was Gandalf banishing Saruman from the King Guy. The King of Rodan?
Rohan. That's the place. See, I watched Lord of the Rings because I watch movies that people like. It's not like I haven't seen a ton of other movies that I should have seen. <laughs> yeah, Rohan. I love the music there, uh, but I forgot how it goes. It's like... No, I don't remember. <laughs> Crap. But I love that part of the soundtrack. I mean, it's just a fantastic soundtrack altogether. And fantastic movies. I remember when I finally, like, I've been planning on watching them for years. And when I finally did, I was like, why have I been putting this off for so long? Like, my parents gave me the DVD box set for Christmas, like, ten years ago. As long as you watch the first Narnia movie and Avatar The Last Airbender. Ooh, I haven't watched the first Narnia movie, I think. I'm not sure. I've, I've watched Avatar The Last Airbender. Do you mean the movie? Because <laughs> I've watched that one as well. I watched that in cinemas when it came out. That was the first time in my life I was disappointed at a movie. Like, I was a little kid, and I was disappointed at, at I, like, I had never been, like, that's like a thing, that's like the age where as long as it moves, you're happy, and I didn't like it. How do you mess that up, M. Night Shyamalan? Yeah, uh, it is kind of a feat of its own. Unsubscribe? No! Please don't. I promise I'll watch it someday, probably. I've watched a movie that is basically a parody of Narnia, which was not like I, I rewatched it pretty recently. Like, it was one of those things you. Uh, <laughs> I will spend every day trying to wipe the Avatar movie from my brain. Yeah, you and me both. No, it was like epic movie. And we watched it in high school and I remember liking it. So I rewatched it more recently. And it was definitely a... Uh, it was definitely a high school movie. <laughs> that you shouldn't rewatch. Because, yeah, those are the type of movies that usually aren't as good as you remember. Though, then again, we watched Les Intouchables in, uh, I have a beautiful French accent, I know, um, in French class during high school. And I rewatched that the other day, and it was so good. Like, it was almost better than I remembered. Except for the parts where he was being a pervert. But, you know... <laughs> Can't have it all, I guess. Um, Alright, let's add some of those yellow flowers and then we're gonna call it quits here. I'm sorry, Poison Blade, your begging has not worked. Also, my voice is dying, so it's about time I, uh, I take a rest. Yeah, gotta catch my bus in 15 minutes. So yeah, no, that's that's it. Let's, let's add those flowers, because I promised. Yellow flowers are so pretty. Alright, so, yeah, we did a fair chunk. We got a bunch of trees in. We got this stuff in, this little gate. And just a little extra detail, like most of this stuff was already here. <laughs> Next stream will be a 24 hour stream to make up for it. Um, I doubt it, but I definitely do want to stream more often, so you'll you'll probably be able to catch the next one. If you are worried, here is a nice segue, if you're worried about catching live streams, uh, you can, because I, I do stream a bit irregularly, 
I don't have a schedule quite yet. I'm working on it. I, at least I want to. Um, but for the time being, the temporary solution on my Discord server that I opened today, uh, you can subscribe for you can subscribe for stream notifications. So you'll be a little bit. It's a little bit easier to figure out when I'm streaming because you'll get a, a Discord ping uh, if you want. It's not. It's a completely optional thing that you can subscribe to on the server. But anyway, time to save. We're gonna zoom all the way out. I started saving like this the other day because Haribo said that it was smart. So we're doing it. Bam. Let's wait till that's done. But uh, I'm gonna be finishing up here. Thank you all for tuning in. We had, we had quite a few people uh, drop by, so that was fun. And uh, yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to catch you all next time as well. But we're exiting out. And that's it. Bye bye. I gotta catch my bus. I really have to go. Uh, I don't really have a good outro. I'm, I suck at those. So <laughs> bye bye. That wrong button.